And there you were. Every account set to public. You want to be seen. Heard. Known. Of course, I obliged. Woo! What can we say? <laughs> the internet stands you. Yes, you. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm not talking about either of us, Cassie, but I am talking about Lifetime's thrilling stalker series that just started streaming mm. on Netflix. The show stars Gossip Girl's Penn Badgley. Now, Denny and I have seen the first episode, but our we producers... Oh, we were texting, we were texting each, other. each other. I was like, what is going to happen next? It's intense, but I got really hooked. Uh, our producers, though, Alexa, Sissy, and Grecia, in the newsroom, have seen the entire, entire series. Yes. And they're here to sell us on you because we need to know what all the hype is about. Ladies, can you expand more on this? Well, I mean, Twitter's obsessed, we're obsessed. I mean, if you haven't gotten through the first episode and haven't binged everything yet, how have you not? It's it's just one of those series that grabs you as soon as you watch it because you can relate to nearly everything that happens through the series. And little do you know, maybe someone we've dated in the past could be our stalker. <laughs> it's seriously addicting. I mean, you guys just watched the first episode last night. I'm pretty sure you guys will finish it by this Sunday. I know. I really got hooked pretty quickly. I think uh, it's a little intense for Cassie's taste, which is fair because it, it is. is. It's, it's, very... it's a little creepy. I, right. I'm, obviously, Penn Badgley, his character is very charming and you think he's nice but he's like not uh, and for those who are unfamiliar with the series I mean he plays a bookstore manager who falls in love with a customer and quickly becomes obsessed with her I mean quick he just starts falling around uh, I mean wh what was it that you loved about it Alexa um, just what Cassie said, the complexity of the character. I mean, I found this meme, and if you guys can pull it up, it says literally me every time Joe kills someone. And at this face of Hillary Duff, just like, oh, maybe he didn't mean it. <laughs> it's like you find yourself like, okay, we know he's bad. Obviously, he's doing very bad things. But then I found myself kind of rooting for him to kind of get the girl in the end, which is so twisted. And he actually kind of responded to a lot of fans that were tweeting him yesterday. And um, we have one, um, they said said this already, but Penn Badgley is breaking my heart once again as Joe. What is it about him? And he responded and said, A, he is a murderer. Which just kind of sums it up, because you're like rooting for him. You're like, it's Penn Badgley. We love Penn Badgley. I love, we but have a tweet up right so there. he's so twisted, yeah. He's so twisted. Like, he's reminding them, hey, guys, mm -hmm. he's a murderer. Exactly. I mean, I, I was swept away by him, too, but I know he's responded to, to some other tweets, right, Alexa? Yes, there's another one that says the amount of people romanticizing Penn Badgley's character and you scares me. And he responded and said, ditto, it will all be the motivation I need for season two. So there's something to be a lot more of this in season two, which is really exciting. I mean, obviously, Penn, his character is a little bit different from <laughs> uh, his character on Gossip yes. Girl. But Sissy, this is kind of one of your favorite parts of the show, right? Kind of the merge of Gossip Girl and uh, Pretty Little Liars, right? Shay Mitchell's also in it. Oh, most definitely. So when I first started seeing trailers for the show, they were selling it as a Gossip Girl meets Pretty Little Liars. And those shows are the shows that I truly binge watched coming up all as a kid and going through college and teens. Like, you wanted to watch those things because they were blogs, they were posts, they were style, and they were these online world that we didn't know about existed and how it kind of, like influenced our relationships with our people and, and our friends. So this is just one of those things where you realize how much you post online mm -hmm. and how dangerous it can be because Pretty Little Liars was just another example of like who done it. Like how much information is too much information for us to be putting out there mm -hmm. and who's going to be the killer in those. <laughs> Definitely oh. makes you think twice before uh, clicking posts right. or even uh, you know makes me think twice about making sure my windows at my house have curtains yeah. on them. Talking, if you, talking if you to haven't strangers, seen the series you'll right? we'll know what I mean. Now, ladies, unlike shows like Gossip Girl and Pretty Little Liars, this first uh, actually premiered in September on Lifetime mm -hmm. and then moved to Netflix. I feel like they took some uh, liberties with getting a little darker, a little gnarlier, which is kind of amazing, Gracie, you're right, to see Shay Mitchell in a different role here. Right. I absolutely, you know what? We love Penn in this in this uh, series, but my the breakout star for me was Shay Mitchell. Yeah. Just how Sissy said, it's kind of like Gossip Girl meets Pretty Little Liars. And in Pretty Little Liars, we see, we see Shay as Emily, who's really shy, who's really timid. But in this show, Shay just blew it off. I mean, you see Shay, she's really good friends with Guinevere Beck. And at first, you kind of hate her because she comes off of, you know, rich and really obnoxious. But at the end, she... At the beginning, she was very on top of uh, Penn. He was like, she was like, no, something's wrong with him, and I'm going to protect Beck. So you kind of want to root for her, like, okay, mm -hmm. Peach, protect Beck. But then you start to realize that, wait, she's, spoiler alert, she's actually kind of maybe has a crush on Beck. No. So yeah, so you're kind of like, wait, hold on, what is going on with this entire show? 
I love it. I mean, look, mm. you guys pitched this yesterday. I gave it a shot, and now Same. I am, I'm sold. Same. I'll watch it with you, Cass. I'm a little creepy. I know. We'll I, need, I, need a, I need a viewing partner because it, it's it's a little creepy. Oh, Nef- Too creepy. Head Too over creepy. to Netflix, guys. I know. Well, binge. you've got three right here, and to be honest, the show is really relatable because oh, when you meet someone at a bar or at a coffee shop, and you know their their you first name them. and last name, you stalk <laughs> them. <laughs> so at the beginning of the show, it's like, yeah, you're relatable. You know, you, you want to you figure consensus. out who this person is. I was like, is this my life story? Right. Is this <laughs> Yeah, about me. Right. The world is full of stalkers. No. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you guys. so much.